call the shots. To be the person who controls or organizes a situation. To be the person in charge. Examples. I would really like it if you would clean your bathroom. But my movie! Why do we have to do it now? Because Claire says so. Because I say so. And because I'm your dad. And I'm older than you. And I call the shots around here, right? Yes, you do. This is so unfair! Okay, can I just mention you're talking like a crazy person? You can't give it up for a second, can you? You always have to call the shots. Always. It's this about me being your boss again? Pam is constantly throwing up because of the pregnancy. If she eats something the fetus doesn't like, she is screwed. It's amazing, a three ounce fetus is calling the shots. Out of touch. To be in a state of not knowing what is happening, how certain people feel, etc. Not communicating with each other. Examples. It could be a computer glitch, someone hacked her account. I just think we should stay calm until we know the story. Honey, I cannot get on a plane for four hours and be out of touch and not know what happened. Why are you doing this to me? I went out of my way to help you people. Oh my God, you are so out of touch. Do you really think a hot stone massage is gonna solve my problems? Let me tell you about a little innovation called Netflix. You'll never miss another movie again. Really? Hand to God. You pick a film on your computer. Three days later, there's a disc in your mailbox. You gotta stay up with technology, Marty. Wow, thanks. Can you believe he doesn't know about streaming? If I ever get that out of touch, kill me. Steer clear. To avoid someone or something that seems unpleasant, dangerous, or likely to cause problems. Examples. It's in Salt Lake City. Have you ever been to Salt Lake City? No, I try to steer clear of Utah. It's a little too conservative for me. Hey, Big Tuna. You're single, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. Pretty hot, huh? She's completely crazy. <laughs> Steer clear, big tuna. Head for open waters. Pull out all the stops. To do everything you can to make something successful. To make every possible effort. Examples. We have relatives I don't know about? So as a possibility. Your mother wanted to pull out all the stops this year. So this is about uh, denial. I pulled out all the stops. Private jet, Balderrama suite at the Bellagio, stakes at Boa. Hey, what are you doing tomorrow night? I think I can get us some Nets tickets. No go, amigo. Tomorrow is Vivi's and my big 20 day anniversary. I'm pulling out all the stops. Dinner at Le Bon Bon, 300 roses at the table. Have a spine. To have a quality or trait, that forms a principal strength to do something. Examples. Phil, this is a nice car. And it's half the price of a new car. If you don't buy it, I will. What would Claire say? You know what? Maybe we should find you something a little more lumbar support. Yeah. You know, but you're not having a spine and all. I have a spine. Do you have a spine? I have a spine. Officially, I was oh, first. Pathetic. Second. Pathetic. People always make you do things you don't want to do. Emma, it's like you don't have a spine. Oh, wait, that's right. You don't have a spine. Push someone's buttons. To provoke a reaction in someone. To cause a strong reaction or emotion in someone. Informal. Examples. Look at that fabulous plasma television. My ex-husband, who never supported my career, would love to watch the Vikings never win a Super Bowl in franchise history on that thing. How dare you? Don't let her push your buttons. Right. I don't care about football. This kid is pushing my buttons. Winston, he's just a little boy. Relax. There's Wilson. I'll go make him mad. When he attacks me, you film it. Then afterwards, we'll meet up in the bathroom. OK, great. What are you going to do to get him angry? Well, I don't know him, so I'm not sure what buttons to push. But I'm sure if I try enough things, something will set him off. Play by ear. To do something without special preparation. 
to decide how to deal with the situation as it develops, rather than acting according to plans made earlier. Examples. I was simply asking when you were planning to leave. There was no agenda behind the question. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Why don't we play it by ear? Yes, let's. Are you going to help me or not? We'll go see Carlos tomorrow. I'll turn him around for you. Really? What are you going to say? Play it by ear. I don't want to sound too well rehearsed. We should reconvene again and talk about this, the, the state of our union and whatnot, sometime soon. Hmm? Let's play it by ear. OK, we will. Something or someone is stinks. To be extremely bad in quality or in someone's performance. Examples. Don't give up, Jay. Self-doubt is part of the process. You can't be a good writer without being critical of your own work. Huh. What? I'm racking my brain for a compliment here. I know, it stinks. And your mom's gonna rub it in my face pretty good. Okay. Where are my vegan soy patties? Oh, I gave them to the kids. They love them. They're skipping them across the pond. Donna, I gotta go to the boys' room. Can I have a ride in your car? Absolutely not. This barbecue stinks. I'm saying it. It stinks. Do you have any plates or anything? I mean, how are we supposed to eat these rumps? What was that? What was what? This guy and Barney just shared a look. Do you know him? <gasps> they did it again. This whole thing stinks, I tell you. Stinks. Bend out of shape. Used to refer to how upset or angry someone is about something that's bothering them. Examples. Why didn't you tell me about the hedge fund? No, the difference doesn't make where we get our money from. Doesn't make a difference except for the fact you didn't tell me. What are you getting so bent out of shape for? We landed a punch back then. We landed a punch, or you did. But I'm just gonna say it. You are being a birthday brat. <gasps> You're all bent out of shape just because you think I ruined a couple pictures? Abed's not dangerous. Yeah, he's just unique, like a snowflake who gets bent out of shape when you mix up Star Wars and Space Treks. Come clean. To be completely honest. To keep nothing hidden. To tell the truth about something that you have been keeping secret. Examples. Look, Andy, it doesn't matter. The truth is, I just feel terrible lying to you. I feel terrible getting lied to. Yeah. No one's ever lied to me before. OK. I think the best thing to do right now is just come clean and tell everybody the No. Truth. The only thing I'm planning is getting my work done. Sure you are. Come clean, or we'll tell everybody about your mistress. I don't have a mistress. You don't? But you're so good looking. What's the point? Have you ever cheated while in a relationship? Um, well, I was in a really crappy relationship in college, and I wound up kissing this guy at a party one night, and I felt terrible about it, so I came clean and we broke up. Rub the wrong way. To do or say things that annoy, irritate, or make someone angry. Especially without intention. Examples. Okay, Dad, why don't you settle in? We don't have any plans until dinner tonight with Jane Gloria. Uh, I don't like that guy. What? That's, you like everybody. Not Jay. Guy rubs me the wrong way. Every time I try to do something nice, he makes this cranky face, like. I need to make Nellie see me as a leader today. First impressions get locked in forever. When I first met Pam, she said something that slightly rubbed me the wrong way. Since then, I've loved working with Pam and <laughs> She's frankly wonderful, but I hate her. On the nose means it's unimaginative or over literal. It's too obvious, expected, unsubtle, or overly and clumsily direct. Examples. Great work out there. I'm getting you a donut. You earned it. Uh, a donut? Isn't that a little on the nose? And a lot on the belly. Ah, blitz! <laughs> hey, Adam, Catherine, or should I say Frankenstein, and Marie Antoinette. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you came as a self-important queen who lost all her power. <laughs> Isn't that a bit on the nose? Here, sign mine too. I'll put it next to that framed picture I have of you and Donald Trump when he was a liberal. <laughs> 
Well, enough about me. Who's playing me in your movie, huh? Not Brad Pitt. It's too on the nose. <laughs> Funny business. Unacceptable behavior or activity. Used to say, don't do anything dishonest or not expected. Let's be serious here. Examples. You know, if you want to save money, you could you could always skip the motel and stay in my place. I don't think so. No, I promise. No, no funny business. I mean, I think it's time, Becca. For what? Time you stopped this funny business and went back to school. No, I'm not doing that. What are you doing? I'm living the life of an artist. Well, look, I need to get in touch with Cheryl. Babu needs a lawyer. His visa's expired. What do you need her for? There's a million lawyers. Yeah, but you said this is one of the things that her firm does. All right, all right, but no funny business. Same deal as last night. Beat around the bush. To avoid talking about the main topic. Not speaking directly. To avoid the important point. Examples. Your sentence structure was impressive. And your theory was not without succeeding in avoiding success. Well, Sheldon, uh, you don't need to beat around the bush. We're men of science. Uh, just give it to me straight. The masses for your neutrinos are impossible. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I don't want to beat around the bush. So, what I'd like to propose... Mm, he's proposing so soon? Oh! Oh, oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey. Just a question. Why is it so hard for you to get close to people? But you don't beat around the bush, huh? Well, I um, figure since uh, you stood me up, I can ask anything I want. Play chicken. To play dangerous games in order to discover who is the bravest. Examples. Meet you at your office tomorrow at 10. Make it 9 and at the clinic. Mike, what are you doing playing chicken with this guy? He's ready to settle. You know what I'm doing. I'm not playing chicken anymore. If she wants to cancel the wedding, I'll take the deposit out of her inheritance. He said the wedding's off. Fine. Eight months jail. Four months probation. But what happened to six? You're annoying me. You can't play chicken with me. I invented chicken. Well, hello, Phil. To what do I owe this pleasure? Cut the crap. You want to play chicken? Chicken's my middle name. Know by heart. Learned in such a way that you can repeat it from memory. If you know something such as a poem, by heart, you have learned it so well that you can remember it without having to read it. Examples. Oh, oh, you know his number by heart. This has nothing to do with my heart, it's business. I broke up with him. It's like you don't know that I broke up with him. Thanks, constant. You know it? Not by heart. You? I'm not a nerd, nerd. Grams must have thought that this evil might come back, and that's why she told us the story. Well, how do we remember the words? I never even believed in the woogie man. No, but Phoebe did. She knows the story by heart. Okay, just a few simple questions for you. Would you please rank your favorite ice creams at Great Shakes from least favorite to favorite? I don't know them by heart. There should be a menu right there to your right, to your right. In my wheelhouse, an area that someone is interested in or skilled at. In someone's comfort zone. Examples. Look, Chris, uh, I'm very flattered you thought of me for this amazing opportunity, but I don't really know if this gig is in my wheelhouse. I tend to work best with young, attractive people. Tom, I have made you a project leader. <gasps> oh, here she is. I'll do the talking. It's kind of in my wheelhouse. You have a wheelhouse and we're living in this dump? <laughs> Well, we're thinking about launching this game. We want it to be a space station simulation strategy game. We want it to be authentic and completely immersive. That sounds really exciting. That's in my wheelhouse. Great. Be out of sorts. To be in an annoyed, irritable, or unhappy mood. Also means that someone's poor spirits result from feeling slightly ill. Examples. Hi. Hey, I was just calling you. Here. This is a prescription for Denise Dogan. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm so out of sorts. Here. 
Porter's Grill at 7 o'clock. Hey, y'all. Listen, upstairs in the kitchen, mm -hmm. is there um, one of those, uh, you know, things that... Uh... Wait, what were you asking me? Pam, are you okay? Oh, honey, you look exhausted. <sighs> the baby didn't sleep again last night. Oh. I'll tell you, I haven't been this out of sorts since that twister lifted up our house. Told you. What's the matter, Teach? You seem a little out of sorts. Me? No, I'm perfectly fine. Hung up on someone or something. To be extremely interested in or worried by a particular subject and spend an unreasonably large amount of time thinking about it. Examples. I'm so glad you were Jim was hung up on Pam for such a long time. I didn't think he'd ever get over her. And and don't get me wrong, I was, I was pretty hung up on you. <laughs> but once I got it down to only one woman in my head, I saw Beth in a whole new way and we were able to move forward. That makes sense. Piece of work. A very unkind or unpleasant person. Used to say that someone is unusually unpleasant or behaves unusually badly. Informal. Examples. Um, you know, Manny told me a story about his friend Danielle. <sighs> she sounds like a real piece of work, by the way. But uh, it made me realize that I take myself a little too seriously. White male, 40, 45. Caucasian male, stocky build, approximately five foot 10 inches. Real piece of work. Real piece of work. Real piece of work. Be on a roll. To have a particularly successful period, without any setbacks or low points. Making a lot of progress. Examples. You're benching me? No, 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 look, I've got a plan. Give all my open cases to Hitchcock, who's suddenly on a roll, and assign me 20 fresh ones. Eventually, my luck will turn. It is hard to tell the difference between you guys saying, stop, because I want you to stop, or stop, as in, stop, you're making me laugh so hard. What you're doing is so funny. You're on a roll. I am busting a gut. Stop. Cool your jets. To become calm and not so excited or worried. To slow down, control your excitement. Examples. I warned you about this all. All the trucks are cool your jets. I came to apologize. All right, that's it. Yeah. Oh boy, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's enough. Both of you, just cool your jets. This isn't over, Dr. Linkletter. No, no, you could get him. OK. Excuse me. Go yes. Ahead. Bye. Oh, cool your jets, lady. It's for Piper. Taste of own medicine. To treat someone as badly as they have treated you. To do the same bad thing to someone that they have done to you. Examples. I was flirting with you to give Schmidt a taste of his own medicine, okay? And it's a huge mistake and insulting to everyone involved, and I'm sorry. Well, call an ambulance. I'm going to do some stuff to him. Or we give him a taste of his own medicine. We fill his locker with shaving cream and loose hair. Although, peacetime would be the perfect opportunity for a stealth strike. Oh, come on. How good would it feel to finally give them a taste of their own medicine? In the running. Having a chance of being successful, especially in a competition or election. Examples. If you donate this land and you let me turn it into a national park, your name will stand for something good for generations to come. Just keep me in the running. Give me a chance to prove to you how great this could be. It's right now you're like, oh, what's more important? Dwight's question, figure out who's a VP. Dwight VP, Dwight VP, Dwight VP, Dwight VP. I can't be hypnotized, Dwight. I tried it, I ended up smoking more. Can we at least eliminate those that are not in the running? Free them up. That's private. Oh, sorry, but why do you have all of our names down on the list? It's from my school essay. Pick a hero in your family and write about why you've chosen him or her. You're still in the running, but I'm not loving that you're drinking wine while watching my brother. Well, it was from an open bottle of white in your fridge, so. It's about judgment, Claire. It's not the 70s. We know better. There was lipstick on the bottle. Be no picnic means someone or something is not easy or enjoyable. If an experience, job, or activity is no picnic, 
It is difficult or unpleasant. Informal. Examples. It's summer vacation. All I want to do is sit in a bathtub and read a book. But now... Baby, I forgot to bring a book. <laughs> do you mind reading yours out loud? Hey, it's been no picnic for me either. You don't even do the voices. Lola, I know you're angry, but Serena's your sister. Oh, well, technically half. It's time to take her down. I bet the real gospel girl would help us. Yeah, well, she's no picnic either. I mean... Where's Jay? I think he's nervous. He has changed his outfit three times. If this is what it's like to be married to me, it's no picnic. Out of the woods. To be no longer in danger or dealing with a particular difficulty. Informal. Examples. That doesn't look too suspicious. I'm sorry, just every time I check the mail, I'm afraid it's gonna be another one of those letters. It's been three weeks, maybe we're out of the woods. Please don't say woods. I'm just saying if someone was trying to blackmail us, they're not very good at it, since they haven't asked for money or anything. Now with these results, we're not completely out of the woods, but now at least we have some options. The most important of which is time. I get it. Everyone turned your calls for a few days. Now that you mention it. Listen, I'm sorry. I've been totally under the gun at the office, but I think we're out of the woods. Make the cut. To come up to a required standard. To be chosen out of a field of candidates or possibilities. Examples. It worked! Good. I powered up all your essentials. Now I'm going to go meet my buddies. I see my espresso machine didn't make the cut, but I'll manage. One of the guys I'm meeting was lost at sea once, had to eat a jellyfish. I'll speak to him of your courage. You know, actually, none of you could even really make the cut for this thing, which I am so sad about. Get your ducks in a row. To be well prepared or well organized for something that is going to happen. Examples. I'll make a plan and get all my ducks in a line. You mean ducks in a row? Yes, I mean ducks in a row. <laughs> what ducks are those? Like the normal kind of ducks, like job, career, house, future. And then I just started thinking like this whole room is filled with lies and secrets. And then it was like this red mist came over me. So... You know how I told you to get your ducks in a row? Yeah, yeah. I... Well, this isn't putting your ducks in a row. This is putting your ducks in a wood chipper. Take a hike. Informal and impolite way of telling someone to leave, to go away. Examples. I asked Claire what she wanted for Mother's Day, and she said, take a hike. <laughs> it's not like that. She's, she's just bananas for walking around in nature. Harvey, I'm going to do you a favor. Why don't you tell Mike Ross to take a hike? He can stay. Okay. What do you want? Uh, nothing. So take a hike. Knock yourself out. Used to tell someone to go ahead and do something. Means go for it and used when you don't care about a person doing something. Examples. Hey, Parker. Come on, aren't you gonna give me a hug? It's Grandpa! Hey, don't take it personally. He's scared to climb down. Oh, can I give it a shot? Yeah, yeah, sure. Knock yourself out. Yeah. Be careful. Do you mind if I charge my phone? Knock yourself out. Play hardball. If someone plays hardball, they will do anything that is necessary to get what they want, even if this involves being harsh or unfair. Examples. So, we do like it. We're just not sure that we love it. Yeah, we're not sure we love it. No, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> because someone just called the room is booked. What? what? No, no, no. Okay, wait, are you playing hardball? Because we're playing hardball too. We love it. The point is, I am not leaving until I get that lockbox. Oh, playing hardball, huh? Hey, no sweat off my sack. You can take the couch, if you can get my exercise equipment out of the way. I think I can handle it. Hand over fist. If you make 
or lose money hand over fist, you make or lose a lot of money very quickly. Examples. The museum is losing money hand over fist. I guess kids today don't care about wax figures or stuffed animals. So, where's this miracle contraption? Behold the future. I'm talking money hand over fist. Get a word in edgewise. To speak or express opinion, despite other people dominating the conversation. To have an opportunity to speak. Examples. You show up after two years, out of the blue, and all you do is talk about yourself. You don't even let me get a word in edgewise. <laughs> well, why did you agree to let me take you out for drinks? Did you ever talk with anyone about this? Your mom, maybe? Obviously not the way you're talking to us. If I could get a word in edgewise, everything would have been different. Be in, over your head. To become, or be, deeply involved in a situation which is too difficult for you to deal with. Examples. We're not going to take this. It's the first day on the market. We barely break even. Take it. No. The market's crashing. No. -uh. You're in over your head. Maybe you're in over your head. Dunphy, listen to me. If you pass up on this, you're going to regret it. I don't know the meaning of the word regret. You're terrifying because you're in over your head and you know it. I tell you, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. Keep joking about it. We've had two clients in one week leave here angry, important clients. Now, what you want this place to be known for? I want to put you on notice. You are in over your head. To live hand to mouth. If someone leaves hand to mouth, they have hardly enough food or money to live on. Examples. Tell me it's not true. You're going back to school, Miriam. Take a business class. You guys are broke. You're living hand to mouth. Joel buys you flowers. They're from me. Joel. Okay. Getting fired from Nolcorp before the IPO basically trashed my career. I am tired of living hand to mouth. Well, I offered you a payout, which it threw back in my face, literally. I don't want a payout, Nolan. I want my own job back. Isn't it obvious? I want another kid. We can't handle another kid. We're living hand to mouth as it is. That's what you said before we had Juanita and before we had Celia, and somehow we manage. Silver lining. Something good or an advantage that comes from a difficult or unpleasant situation. Idiom refers to the shining edges of a cloud illuminated by the sun. Examples. She's in prison. For a tiny parole violation, she tried something on in a store and accidentally walked out. It was another woman's purse. The silver lining is Cal is benefiting from our parenting experience. Mitchell is... Oh, God, my truck! This truck was my baby! All right, look, Charles, I know you're upset, but maybe there's a silver lining here. I mean, you had insurance, right? Yeah, I already called them. So maybe you'll get some money for this and you can pay off your debts. B minus. But there was a silver lining. I expected more, Alex. Alex! The apple of my eye. The person who someone loves most and is very proud of. Used to describe someone who is very special for you. Examples. Carrie Revi, apple of my eye. Donnie Leeds is jonesing to see you on your day off, no less. What's the crisis? What is a pleasure meeting you, Kiki D? Wish I could say the same. You see before you, I am myself a father. I was the apple of his eye. Take your mind off. To stop you from worrying or thinking about a problem or pain, often by forcing you to think about other things. Examples. You won't admit it, but I know that man is sad because he's missing the party. Why don't we take him somewhere to take his mind off it? It's like I'm taking a football class from Peyton Manning. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's just what I need. I think it'll be a great way to take my mind off everything that's happened. So, we need more for you. Let's Daddy, go. It's know. fun. I'm trying to help you take your mind off of this horrible mistake you made, deleting all these files. Probably the worst thing that ever happened in Parks and Rec history. Oh and we'll certainly get fired. Go all out to put all your energy or enthusiasm into what you are doing. To do something as hard as possible. 
examples. Go, gotta go. Here he comes. Okay. Bye. Hey. Hey. Whoa. You guys went all out. Okay, everyone. Ted's in the limo. Five minute warning. Everyone get ready. All right, so shiny insulation and space blankets all over the walls and the ceiling. It was like being inside of a disco ball. Do you have a point? Well, um, I'm impressed by how much work went into entrapping me. You went all out. Wow, the Gurgiches really go all out. This is incredible. Sleep on it. To wait before making a decision. To take time to think about a decision. Examples. You know what? This is a big decision. Maybe we should all just sleep on it. I, I can get more pills. And I am sure that fellow will keep buying. Why don't you get us home? You can sleep on it before you decide. Louis Saul said if things don't work out, you will never get this chance again. All I'm asking is for you to think about it. Okay, Sheila. I'll sleep on it. Play hooky. To stay away from school or work without permission or explanation. Informal. Examples. Hey, stranger. Oh, is that what I am now? Mm-hmm. Playing hooky? Well, they're making me work tonight, so I've got the afternoon off. Oh, they all got to save the world excuse again? No, we'll need to, because we'll be together playing hooky. Yeah. Sometimes, most of the time, I will be with Ryan. Or Daryl. Mandarin class is so stressful. What? Why are we doing this? What are you doing? Mandarin class is back that way. I know. But we're going to play hooky today. Go steady. If two people are going steady, they are having a long, fairly serious romantic relationship. Informal. Examples. Don't get me wrong. She's nice. And what the truth is, there's someone else. Oh. Are you going steady? Not exactly. We were seeing each other pretty regularly, but this other lady, girl, she sort of dumped me. Is this a joke? Why is Huey up there? I don't understand. Who is this guy? This guy is Hugh Campbell. He and Starlight are going steady. I think me and your tub are going steady. <laughs> oh, you found the jacuzzi button. I don't know who found who, but we're together now. Keep someone posted. To continue to inform what is happening, especially in a situation that is quickly changing. Examples. What are you still doing here? Flight's delayed. How delayed? 40 minutes last I checked. Okay, keep me posted. And then Gabe said immediately that his friend might be taking the ticket, so we'll keep you posted on that. What's the next move? I conduct my investigation, talk to everyone, find out where you're vulnerable. You're not out of the woods yet. All right, keep me posted. Mm -hmm. The third wheel. A person who goes somewhere with a couple or someone who is not needed there. Who tags along with a group of two other people, usually a romantic couple. Examples. You feel bad for Ted? It's tough feeling like the third wheel. Okay, first of all, I'm sure Ted's fine. Who eats salt and pepper without cumin? <laughs> oh man, I know how you feel. Third wheel. I have been the third wheel so many times in my life. My mom told me something once that made me feel a lot better. She said, the third wheel is what makes it a tricycle. Go to great lengths to try very hard or do extreme things in order to achieve something. Examples. What Jimmy's driving at is the last time I saw her, I covered up my illness. I've been suffering from it for some time but I went to great lengths to conceal that fact from her. I know you're the acting queen of cyberspace. I should warn you that she's prepared to go to great lengths to get what she wants. And a couple who've decided to separate is now going to great lengths to show that nothing has changed. 
crap. Crap, crap, crap. Put oneself out there. To expose yourself to public attention, even at the risk of rejection, criticism, or failure. Examples. Ta-da! Oh my god, look at your hair! Do you like it? Is it permanent? No. Then I love it! Especially if it means you're finally ready to put yourself out there again. Maybe it's time to put yourself back out there. Yeah, exactly. Barney's dating again, and he couldn't be happier. He's been lobbing insults all night. Hey, dumbbell, I can smell your breath through the internet. You can't do that, right? Jay, take it from a fellow performer. If you're going to put yourself out there, you need to let the criticism roll off your back. Brace yourself. Use to warn someone to be prepared for something. Examples. It could be huge for my career. <laughs> Brace yourself, dude. This is gonna blow your mind whole. After all your history together, he deserves to know where he stands. You should talk to him. Fine, I'll tell him to come over. Use the blowfish emoji. It means brace yourself for some bad news. No, it doesn't. Luke. Does this thing have turbo? Nitrous? Hit the Nas. Nas? You mean like in Fast and Furious? Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely have Nas. Hit the Nas. Are you sure? Yes. Brace yourself. Three, we got two, go. one. Here we go! Birds and the Bees. Some people refer to the birds and the bees when they are talking about sex, especially to children. Examples. And, you know, if you have any other questions about, like, the birds and the bees or who puts what in the where and for how long and that, you know, fun stuff, just don't hesitate to ask, okay? Okay. okay. Your uncle thinks it's about time you and I had that little talk about the birds and the bees. Oh, God. That's how I feel, so we're not going to be doing that. Apparently, Parker wanted to put a sunflower seed inside me and see if a baby would grow. Where do kids get this stuff? Oh, that was me. He was asking about the birds and the bees, and I fudged a few of the details. Wrapped up in something. To be fully involved or interested in something. To be so involved with something that you do not pay enough attention to other people or things. Examples. I'm so glad that you did, and you are a wonderful friend, but sometimes you're so focused and driven that you forget about people's feelings. Oh, sh name one time I've done that. Well, you were so wrapped up in your story that you actually ate my waffle. I needed a helicopter because I was chasing a bad guy because I'm a cop. Really, it wasn't just to make this case epic. This case is epic. You're just too wrapped up in the politics to see it. Sir, we're tracking a triple murderer who stole $21 million, and all you can think about is Madeline Wunsch. Call it a day to stop what you are doing because you don't want to do it anymore or think you have done enough. To stop particular activity for the rest of the day. Examples. Oh, it's a sauterne glass. Look, the alcohol has rendered me a simpleton. Maybe you should just call it a day. I can't. I've been asked to deliver a toast here after the funeral. A message of hope. Natalie, hey, happy birthday. Listen, you're awesome. You really are awesome. I'm just like super busy right now, so maybe we should just Call it a day. Sells insurance over at Bo's shop. Yeah. Yeah, I called over and they're closed, so I was gonna go by Lester's place. No, I know Lester. I'll do it. You've called it a day. Good work. And don't get me wrong, I was pretty hung up on you. <laughs> I'm saying it. It stinks. What you're doing is so funny. You are on a roll. I am busting a gut. I'm pulling out all the stops. I think it'll be a great way to take my mind off everything that's happened. Okay. Keep me posted. 